Welcome to Taj's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make aluminum foil baked salmon. So when you're using salmon, it's very difficult to fail. And this recipe is not like traditional Japanese food. I'm not quite sure how this came about, but this is something we quite often make at home in Japan. So this is very, very easy to make. It takes no more than like 20, 30 minutes. You just need to cut up the ingredients, put it in our aluminum foil, wrap it up, and then cook it in a frying pan or an oven. Today I'm going to show you two variations of the sauces. You can decide for yourself which one you want to make. Then, let's get started. Here are the ingredients for aluminum foil baked salmon. For the fish I'm using salmon today, but you can use any other fish like cod or trout or like tuna. You can also make this with meat like chicken or beef. For the veggie, I have onion, carrots, oyster mushroom, and cabbage. But for this, you can use pretty much any vegetable. And then for the seasoning, I have salt. Today, I'll be making two variations, one well, with miso sauce. So I need miso, sugar, and also sake or rice wine. If you don't have sake, then you can use white wine. And for the other sauce, I'll be making ponzu with soy sauce and lemon. And then I'll be using a little bit of butter and a piece of garlic. And then I'll also be using aluminum foil. Any old regular aluminum foil will do. Then let's start cooking. First, I'll season the salmon filet with a pinch of salt. And then I'll let this sit for a while. Then next, I'll prepare all the vegetables. And for all the vegetables, I'm just gonna make small strips. And then also with a carrot, I'm gonna make similar strips. I'm just gonna eat half of it or so. Cut them kind of thinly. This doesn't have to be so specific. So there's no really set rule for this. I'm just gonna make similar strips like the other vegetables. And the stem part is also good, so don't throw these away. And for the oyster mushroom, you just need to kind of separate them apart. So all the veggies are prepared, let's make the sauce. I'm gonna make first the miso sauce. I'm gonna cut the end of the garlic. I'm gonna use a garlic smasher and the skin on and just smash it. And the skin stays inside. Then here I'm gonna put in one and a half tablespoon of miso. Then here a tablespoon of sake and then two teaspoons of sugar. So then the miso sauce is finished. Then let's make the ponzu sauce. I'm gonna squeeze this. So for this half a lemon will be enough. Exactly a tablespoon. I'm gonna mix one to one ratio of soy sauce, so one tablespoon. So this is the ponzu sauce. So the salmon filet has been left for about 15 minutes now and it's starting to sweat a little bit because of the salt. I'm just gonna take off this excess water. Everything is prepared, then let's assemble together. Now I'm gonna put in a little bit of butter on the bottom so that the ingredients won't stick. Just like this. Now on the bottom I'm gonna lay the onions. Like so. And then over this I'm gonna put in the salmon filet. And then around it I'm just gonna put in the rest of the veggies. And then on this I'm gonna put in the miso sauce. And then I'm gonna put in a piece of butter on the top. And then wrap this. So it is very important that it is sealed, so you don't want to have open edge. You want to make sure that it's sealed so that it'll get steamed inside while 
and then we kind of bring together the end like this so that you have a little handle. Then one of that is finished. Second one, I'm gonna do the same thing. A little bit of butter on the bottom. Onion on the bottom. Over that piece of salmon filet. And then just rest of the veggies. And then on the top, piece of butter. And seal it. And so the ponzu comes at the very end when it's finished cooking. I'm just gonna seal it exactly the same way. Just gonna roll it a couple times like this. And then bring the end together like this. Then this is finished. Let's cook on the stove. I'm gonna put these on a frying pan. You can also use a regular oven. I like cooking this on a frying pan because it's easier and faster. And then here on the side, I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of water so that it doesn't get burnt on the bottom. And then put the lid on and then turn the heat to medium. And then cook like this for about two minutes or so. So after two minutes, while the water is kind of boiling and steaming, then I'm gonna turn the heat to low and then cook this in low heat for 10 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes now. Let's take this off from the frying pan. Turn the heat off. Then let's take this off. So it's very hot, so be very careful. Then let's look inside. It's hot, be very careful. Oh, it looks so good. So this is the one without the sauce. So here I'm gonna put in the ponzu sauce we made earlier. And this is the one with the miso sauce. And here I'm gonna put in a little bit of green onion as condiments. Then this is finished, let's eat. Mmm, smells so good, it looks so delicious. Let's eat. Let's start the one with the ponzu. Okay. Oh, this looks so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, this ponzu sauce is so perfect. So delicious. So the sweetness of the vegetables is coming out so well because it's got steamed. Oh. Oh, this is so delicious. Mm. This is such a great combination. All the sweetness of the vegetable together with the salmon and seasoned with this freshness of the ponzu sauce. Oh, this is such a totally great combination. Then let's try the one with the miso sauce. This is looking also so great. Mm, mm. So this miso sauce gives totally different take on the salmon. So delicious. Mm. Mm. And really surprisingly, the miso and the butter is a really great combination. Oh, this is totally so delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, let's come back on the ponzu sauce. Oh, this ponzu sauce is just so perfect to go with salmon and also with the vegetables. Mm. Oh, this is so delicious. So delicious. Mm. Oh, this is so delicious. Oh, this is so totally delicious. And as you saw, this is so very easy to make. You just need to cut up the ingredients, whatever vegetable you can find in your fridge. 
and put it together and wrap it in aluminum foil and just cook. And you don't need to pay attention during your cooking. Let it cook for 10 minutes. So this takes all together no more than like 20 minutes. 10 minutes to prepare, 10 minutes to cook. So I highly recommend trying this recipe. And if you like what you saw, please hit that like button. If you have any questions or requests or comments, feel free to write anything in the comments below. I'm always, always so happy to hear feedbacks. Otherwise, I look forward to see you in the next video. Bye.